welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome I'm really excited to get my hair trimmed today and to take you along my journey but before I get into that I will just do a quick commercial break because I'm excited to announce this video today is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. I absolutely love my new necklace. This one is a heart and lock key. What I really like about Ana Luisa is they're very eco-friendly and they use recycled gold to make their jewelry. All their jewelry is also tarnish free so it doesn't leave like a green line on your neck. I've had other necklaces do that but it's also hypoallergenic. I think a lot of you know I have sensitive skin so this is perfect. So I really like that they use the best noble metals. Everything's made from recycled gold. Additionally they offer really fair prices. So the jewelry starts at $39 and it does go up to more luxury prices. But there is a piece for everyone so this is definitely one of the more simpler pieces where I feel it's more casual but you can totally dress it up you can make it however you want and additionally Ana Luisa's goal is to achieve a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020 and just maintain that goal for years to come so that is amazing it just comes in these cute little bags I'm going to show you my other necklace this one is another heart, so this is a more puffed shape heart. And again, this one is made from recycled gold, and it's just so cute. I just love hearts. I feel like it's a symbol of me because I love love and peace, so this is definitely a symbol that I wear every day. I kind of just go intuitively, so whatever I'm feeling, if I'm feeling more of a puffy heart or if I'm feeling more of the lock and key, it kind of has that mystique and I don't know if anybody knows the Madonna song open your heart but it totally reminds me of that with the key and lock and I do have a discount code naturally Antonia 10 for 10% off and it's also linked in the description below you should definitely check out Ana Luisa really cute eco-friendly sustainable jewelry Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you my hair before the trim. It is the longest it's ever been. It's so crazy. So my hair is about fingertip length or mid thigh. So because of my body structure and because I have long arms and fingers, fingertip length and mid thigh are essentially the same on me. For others, it could be different. I'm going to move forward a little bit just to make it easier for you to see. So my dress goes to about the middle of my thighs. It's really crazy. I didn't realize how long it was. But before I get my hair trimmed, I'm just going to go ahead and wash it just so it's nice and clean. So before my trims, I like to wash my hair. It just makes it easier to cut for most people and I just feel more comfortable when it's fresh. So I just went in with the Aqua Blue Lavender Vanilla Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I put a little bit of the Vanilla Avocado Hair Oil by Body Supergirls Calendula just to make it easier to brush out and detangle. So I'm really excited. I haven't got my hair trimmed since April, so it's been about four months, so I am ready. So I'm just getting ready to head over to my friend's house. Her name is Rainy very beautiful lady. I actually met her when I used to work at Whole Foods. So we share a lot of similar values. You know, she's into a lot of natural things and she's just very wonderful with my hair. So I can't wait to get it trimmed and show you guys the results.
then after I got home, I decided to change my outfit and wear something lighter just so you can see my hair better. So I changed into one of my favorite t-shirts, my Joanna Newsom one, and I am just so happy with my ends. I absolutely love how thick, freshly cut ends look, and I ended up getting a total of one inch trimmed off. So. It was a little bit of a bigger trim because I was getting half inches, but I decided from now on I'm thinking I'm going to go an inch each time just to maintain this really nice shape and I just love how it looks. I also feel like the longer my hair gets, the more fragile it is, so I think trimming an inch off each time will be a very wise decision. But I'm very overall pleased. I like the thick little towel at the bottom for when I do braids. And so I plan to trim an inch about every four months. Let me know below what your trimming schedule is like, how often you trim, and how much. Or maybe it's totally intuitive. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm so happy with my trim and just love having thicker ends. And again, a big thanks to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video and making such beautiful, sustainable, cute jewelry. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified if you'd like to see more videos like this. And as always guys, peace, love, and long hair, and I can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye!